Okay, so this is the network we have. Uh, it presents the portion of the part of the internet. So we have how many routers? Four routers. And each uh, here, this router is connected to three different networks. This one, this one, and this one. And uh, yeah, our own router is what connecting to the internet. So it would be the default gateway for uh, all other routers. And uh, let's take a challenge and construct the routing table for R3. Okay. Yeah. So which one? This is the this is the R3 router R3. Okay. So it is classless. Forwarding with classless address addressing. So which contains at least four yes okay four columns at least four columns what are those yes mask and yes ne next destination network address or next draw ne destination network address or destination if we use the host specific method, it will be the destination host. If we use the network specific method, it would be the destination network. So here it is network. And what is this? Here it is next. And it is interface. Okay. So how do we write? Uh, we write in the longest mask card. So sorted by longest marker because that is how router applies router checks in the longest mask order router check the most specific which means the uh, mask with the highest prefix length uh, and in descending order to the most generic which will be the default gateway. So here what is the highest one slash 24. So what is the network address for the 24 220.10.20.0 right 220.10.20.c and we don't know next stop at and uh, interface to which interface it is router r1 okay and uh, we are this this interface is not the interface of what we are writing not this one okay with respect to the router on which router r3 the routing table is being constructed so another one is do we have 23 now 22 which is 140.21.0.0 and we have another 22 this one which is 150.31.0.0 and uh, we have 20 20 which is 200.30.0 okay yes 18 which is 120.32.0.0 and uh, 16 okay which is 144.45.0.0 and the last one is slash 0 which is default gateway 0 .0 .0 0.0.0.0 .0. now he, here comes the actual work so this this order is quite same for all Rout, routing table to yeah all routing tables routing tables for different routers all routers we have in this in this network so now tell me here if you take the first uh, mask okay uh, so with respect to router r3 we need to check so if for suppose it is connected to two two networks so which is 
slash 22 this one or this one okay so imagine packet is coming from m1 and uh, wait to send the packet if it is destined for the 220.10.20.0 it should be sent over interface m0 right yeah i'm not and what is the next stop this one this one this one next stop is 144.45.0.2 right and uh, for 22 the same 22 also what is next stop the same ip so next stop is uh, the next station address of the next station which is which is the which router is in the middle r2 only right to reach to the destination this one to reach to this destination so this is next stop for the router r3 so for this also next stop is 144.45.0.2 and m0 up for 22 what is next stop that is 150.31.0.0 which is this network it is it is not indirect delivery it is direct delivery because the destination host is also connected to the same network to which this visit router is connected to so in such a case there is no next stop uh, the destination will be directly converted to the ethernet address using arp dynamically and then uh, will be given to the data link layer to deliver it to the destination so which is direct delivery there is no next stop here and the interface is m m1 okay Th this is the one to which to which interface it should go to m1 okay and slash 20 packet should go this way right packet should go this way like this yes next stop is 144.45.0.3 m.0 okay and uh, and again what is next stop here it is same 144.45.0. sorry yeah 0 0.3 m0 and what is next stop here Next stop is it is the same physical network to which this router is connected. So it is direct delivery, there is no next stop. But the interface is M0. And here, what what is interface? We know that if we packet should should packet should go to the default gateway, it should, it should go this way. In such case, interface is M0, we know that. So M0. And what is next stop this is the next stop right so for default gateway which is 144.45.0.1 okay so that is the that is how uh, we can construct the routing table for even router r3